Bonjour tout le monde, Catalina est de retour, ça fait un bail, on, a, on me l'a réclamé. Uh, hello Catalina, hello. How are you fine? <laughs> I'm great, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the same, mais oui, oui uh, Catalina nous a manqué à tous. Alors je vous explique le concept de la vidéo. Pas mal de gens m'ont posé de questions sur, des questions sur Catalina, ils veulent en savoir plus sur elle, sur sa personnalité, etc. Et suite au live que nous avons fait uh, ensemble uh, il y a presque un mois, eh bien, des questions étaient restées en suspens, soit on avait oublié des questions de donateurs, soit elles sont arrivées ensuite en commentaire. Et donc, euh, je vais lui poser ces, ces questions en anglais. Alors, sachez que toute la vidéo va être en anglais. Le but, de temps en temps, c'est de faire apparaître Catalina à mes côtés pour améliorer l'anglais de ceux qui ne, on va dire, qui, qui, qui ne s'y connaissent pas et vous motiver. Donc, évidemment, je ne fais pas toutes les vidéos en anglais sur la chaîne, mais de temps en temps, euh, J'en fais en anglais, je me dis voilà, la curiosité de comprendre ce que dit Catalina vous poussera euh, à apprendre cet anglais en plus basique. Hein, vous avez vu, j'emploie très peu de mots en anglais, parfois je fais des fautes. L'idée, c'est de vous montrer que même avec un, voc un vocabulaire pas très riche, on peut avoir une conversation avec une femme ou un homme qui parle, qui parle anglais mieux que vous, ce qui est le cas de Catalina. Je ne vais pas lancer mes traducteurs pour mettre des sous-titres euh, sous cette vidéo parce que c'est une vidéo qui n'est pas, pas politique, je ne vais pas leur faire donner du boulot pour ça. Donc accrochez-vous. Sachez bien, ne vous désabonnez pas, sachez que sur la chaîne, la plupart des vidéos seront en français. Mais de temps en temps, voilà, euh, on vous pousse à euh, apprendre cette langue qui vous sera utile dans tous les pays où vous souhaitez vous expatrier. So, Catalina, uh, I will do an interview of you, you know. Oh, today you are the... privileged. <laughs> you are the star today. So, uh, you are young, you have 26, that's it. Yes, 26. Um, but it's enough to, to see uh, the changing in your country, in Romania. So um, yeah. how Romania changed since you, you were a child? Uh, so the big change happened, I think, in... Uh, I mean, it happened mm -hmm. in uh, 89, December, because it, uh, there were the revolution, when the revolution started. Mm -hmm. And it was such a big change for our country because uh, We fought for democracy, we fought for um, um, what we have now actually mm -hmm. and a lot of people died. Also my uh, grandfather was there yeah. and he fought uh, here in Bucharest, it was the revolution, so yeah. Uh, he fought into the revolution and he was hurt, uh, he was uh, in the hospital, he told me that it was such a big um, fuss mm -hmm. then and uh, of course a lot of things change we are still adapting to this democracy uh, democracy mm -hmm. uh, we are still uh, trying to keep it mm -hmm. because uh, there are many corrupted politicians that uh, they still want the communists back if there are a lot of uh, bad influences uh, and i think um, The society is getting more mature, we are getting more mature, we want, uh, we, we demand for our rights more, we are getting involved, yeah. uh, we, de we want uh, that our rights to be respected mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's why maybe um, there are a lot of protests. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> like in France. Like in France, <laughs> but uh, Romanian people w weren't protesting when there was communism, mm -hmm. and now we are free to uh, to talk about different subjects. We are not restricted like we were before. Everything changed. Everything changed since then. Okay, okay. Yeah. And on on an economical point of view, you think uh, Romania is better than 10 years ago? Maybe. Uh, there are some. Uh, Yes and no, I have to say yes okay. and no. <laughs> yeah, because uh, my parents told me uh, when the communism, were, uh, when Ceausescu was mm -hmm. uh, president, they told me that they had jobs, they had uh, sa good salaries, everyone uh, mm -hmm. had a job. Uh, if you didn't have a job, Ceausescu would take you. <laughs> He won't <laughs> take you from your hand, but it's like they would take you to go and work something. And okay. uh, they said that it was a good thing. And um, yeah, right now it's like everyone uh, wants to be at home, lazy and yeah. not working so much, making money out of different... Um, You understand. Know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, you know, totally. Some, <laughs> like on, easy ways to make money. On some point it's good, on some, on some, on some it's, point it's not. It's not, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And um, I don't know, my grand, uh, my grand, my, actually my parents also think that it's better now because mm -hmm. 
back then they said that only eat it oranges on Christmas time. Yeah. Only one per, once a Terrible. year they eat it that. And all the time they were eating the same food. Okay. You know, like yeah, yeah. the meat was something so uh, rare mm -hmm. and so special on their table. And they were like eating so much and they were enjoying so much in that moment. But after many months after that, maybe they won't, won't have this. Uh, so everybody had a job in the past, but not... Uh, not yeah, a good thing to... Uh, yeah, exactly, because it wasn't so much diversity mm -hmm. in the, uh, the supermarket. You could mm -hmm. stay in line to take the bread or... Uh, yeah. It was, uh, it was bad. I didn't live in those times. Gladly, I didn't live <laughs> in those times. But uh, I heard it wasn't uh, okay. such a nice period. Uh, a lot of my friends who, who visited uh, Bucharest and Romania mm -hmm told me it's weird, Daniel, because a lot of Romania seem, Romanian people seem to don't like their own country. So how yeah. can you explain that? Uh, I think probably they don't like <laughs> how the administrations take care okay. of everything, you know, the politicians. Mm -hmm. Because there are many, as I said, there are many corrupted politicians and they don't care about the health system. The health system is like... Uh, super bad in our country. They are making many. Oh, and it's a funny thing that uh, they are building a lot of churches, like yeah. and super. <laughs> and the hospitals are like, oh, we have to take them, take them to the grave. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to take care of their health anymore. Just take them to the church, to the grave, and they will be. Really <laughs> it's a joke, but it's kind of. True joke. Yeah. It's like uh, we are. I am laughing, but it's not my laugh. Yeah. It's like <laughs> <I understand. laughs> you know. It's uh, it's like that. And yeah, I mean um, everything. It's terrible. Like the the public administration of the road administrations. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but there yeah. are a lot of holes everywhere. In Bucharest, is a whole uh, mess with them. <laughs> like yeah. uh, it's it's so much traffic, mm -hmm. and uh, the city. It's like so small and uh, yeah too many people too in many people in such a small place mm -hmm. and they have to think about uh, solutions mm -hmm. i don't know i'm not a specialist in those roads thing but i think they should think of something because yeah. it's a mess yeah, yeah. outside so and also the educational system it's super old mm -hmm. i think it's from the communism and they didn't change lots of the ah, okay disciplines in schools mm -hmm. so in in the school yeah so um, everything it's old yeah. you know we have to refresh it a little bit mm -hmm. like the health system also the educational system the bureaucracy it's mm -hmm. a lot of bureaucracy i don't yes. know if you went yeah. to it's a big problem with your car to sign it or to pay mm. the taxes or everything and there are a lot of papers yeah. you have to have a copy of that copy and yeah it's, it's like uh, internet. Copy. Internet is doesn't doesn't exist because you have to go to the place to sign yes. a paper. You can do that on your place. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a lot of there are a lot of papers, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you go with your file and you uh, show them their file, they they will go through it and they say no, it's not okay. You have to have a copy of that copy and then you have yeah, to yeah. come <laughs> and you will have to That's stay in line. It's a you nightmare. Will be, uh, yeah, you will get a ticket with. Uh, yeah. 100 in line mm -hmm. and there are 100 people in front of you <laughs> and I you I have to wait a lot. I understand your point. It's not that Romanians don't like their country, but the, no, the way yeah, exactly. it is, infrastructure. We like our countries, like we like our landscapes, mm -hmm. we like um, the country. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, I invite your audience to visit Romania because it's so beautiful. Here we come. <laughs> and uh, at the month, we have mountainside, beachside, we have lots of uh, yeah, Romanians, nice pretty women. <laughs> we are nice, we, ha we are uh, party people. And, a, lot, a lot of um, Catalina in Romania. A lot of, yeah, maybe not a lot like me. Men. <laughs> it's not your special, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm uh, narcissistic, like that. No, yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> How about but this? There are a lot of oh. things to do here, mm -hmm. a lot of things to do. Um, so we just said that you are beautiful, okay? We can say the opposite, okay? Thank you ah, so much. And um, <laughs> how Romanian guy are with a woman like you? How the be behavior of Romanian guy in seduction, in... Uh, uh, when you are in the, the street, street yeah, do they say hello? You are so. Oh so yes, nice. they are doing it. Yeah, yeah really. They are doing it, but it's from the lower 
um, from these are from the lower society, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Not all men are like this. I of mean, uh, there are some super respectful, nice people, but uh, maybe Romanians men are more direct than French yeah. guys. Maybe they approach women not in the most respectful way. Maybe they make bad jokes. Maybe oh, yeah. to catch her attention, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, to yeah. catch a woman attention. Maybe they think, oh. I will tell her a joke and maybe she will laugh and mm -hmm. may maybe she will give me her number eventually. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't work most of the times. <laughs> uh, the taxi drivers are super yeah, uh, bad. It? And the constructing uh, guys, you know, when they are uh, constructing a building, yeah. they are like, hello, what, how are you? Beautiful. <laughs> and they are screaming names and they are... They are funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I never had a bad experience with those people. Yeah. I was just laughing and I didn't even turn my head mm -hmm. because it's, uh, it doesn't... With a taxi, it could be not that dangerous, but uh, weird. I had a uh, weird experience with the taxi driver because I was uh, entering in his car and I was saying, I want to go to this address. And he was going in a total different oh way and I got a bit scared and he was like oh sorry but my GPS was uh, making an error and I don't know if it was an excuse or if it was the truth okay but after I arrived at the place I had to pay like 50 euros or I don't know <laughs> it was such a big uh, amount of money I, I don't think he wanted to abduct me or something god forbid okay, okay, okay. Uh, no i think he just wanted to make a lot of money and uh, <laughs> he saw that i was uh, like oh, a young female that i, I didn't knew bucharest mm -hmm. so well but i could have noticed that it's not my um uh, it's not the city i know it okay, was okay. like far away and i was like oh <laughs> what are you doing please take me back to the city and he was like oh sorry it was a mistake but i don't know yeah and uh, but i prefer uber Oh my God, Uber is yeah, the because best uh, now uh, if Uber, the guy yeah. has not a good behavior, and you can I put uh, comments to all the foreign people that are coming to travel, yeah. that are coming to Romania. And yeah, yeah, to, that's cool for that. <laughs> to use uh, you Uber, <laughs> just Uber, because uh, yeah, it can be like you can pay a hundred euros mm -hmm. for a ride in Bucharest, yeah. and you don't want that for sure. So maybe uh, the, the men from rest are more shy. They don't do, they don't say things directly like Romanian. Yes. For example, if a Romanian guy is uh, sexually attracted by you, he will yeah. tell to you maybe more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, they are more direct. I have to tell. You. Well, mm -hmm. most of them they are mm -hmm. more direct than uh, than okay. the others. I didn't meet so many foreign people. It's mm -hmm. Like I didn't dated anyone foreign. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they are, but as I heard from my yeah. friends and. Uh, from the TV, I see that <laughs> maybe it's a mentali mentality difference. difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Uh, some of my followers are curious about your professional uh, uh, study. Well, did you study to the faculty? Did you? Yeah. What kind of work do you want to do? Are you doing now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was studying management mm -hmm. in college, but it wasn't like. A, when I applied at the university, my parents were like, you have to do something, you have to do something with your life. It was a, a big pressure, mm -hmm. I have to say. It was a big pressure. And I didn't know at 18 years old, I didn't know what to do. And of course, I signed up for a college. I was like, I have to have a college because in Romania, it's also this mentality that you have to study. You have mm -hmm. to go to college to have a good job. I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the educational system, Mm -hmm. The educational system it doesn't guide you to, uh, to what you want to become. What, uh, it okay. doesn't give you an idea on what you should follow. Mm -hmm. you, you should follow, like, um, you should be a doctor, engineer, of, of course, you mm -hmm. can do that. But they don't teach you to value your qualities. Okay. You know? Yeah. Maybe, look, you're a writer, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. and maybe in school they didn't... Um, they didn't tell me, oh, you, you yeah, have to do that. exactly, you mm -hmm. have to do that. They didn't notice that mm -hmm. you're good at this. Mm -hmm. You had to discover it, and of course it's good, but some people, like me, maybe mm -hmm. they don't discover by their own, mm -hmm. and they have to have a little help for, for that, yeah. to mm -hmm. find out. And uh, this was my problem. Mm -hmm. 
and I choose management. It was like, mm, I have to choose something. I choose. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. Yeah, I choose. Uh, right now, and yeah, I had many jobs. When I was in college, it was good because I catch experience with many jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was a waitress. I was a receptionist. I was um, a secretary. I was... I had many jobs like in different, mm -hmm. uh, from different you, yeah. when you are young too. To and it's good, it's good to have these experiences. But now I want to study more about marketing. I think um, it's a good <coughs> domain. <Sorry. laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a good domain uh, right now, and everything is online yeah. right now. All the businesses are online, everything is online, as mm -hmm. you see with this pandemic situation. And uh, I agree that I want to study more about these uh, mm. social media platforms. I yeah. want to know more. You, uh, you. And my, of course, my dream is to have my own business one day. <laughs> Who doesn't <laughs> want that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my own, uh, my own thing. I don't know what it will be, but I want to be my own boss. That's for sure. <laughs> I, because I'm a woman, and I don't like to be told what to do. Mm -hmm. I like to be told yeah, what others should do. But <laughs> that's your character. You have a strong character. You have a, a strong personality. You are independent, so you are. Yeah, I fine. remember when I had jobs in college. Uh, the bosses were coming. You have to do that. You have that, and I was like, mm. no. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I know better. Yeah. But I'm your boss. So what? I know better, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some <laughs> people like to be commended, some 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 not. Yes, some. yes. I, I I don't like being told what to do. Mm. I'm I was a spoiled child. I'm the only child. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was super spoiled and everything was like how I want it to be. Okay. Know? Okay, okay. And yeah. It was like that. <laughs> in, in French, we say uh, enfant gâté, enfant gâté, because you are the, the only child of your, oh. your parents. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, um, of passion you have? Uh, music, cinema, I don't know. What kind of thing you like? Uh, what kind of music are, mm. are you listening to? Uh, I love classical music. Mm -hmm. I love classical music. When I'm home, relaxing, taking a bath, I light up my ca uh, some candles, <laughs> you know. And I also love jazz music. It takes yeah. me, when I listen to jazz music, it takes me like in New York. I'm in New York on a rooftop with the love of my life, taking dinner. And it's, it's like... 8, 9 p.m. and mm -hmm. it's dark outside and it's so romantic. Mm -hmm. I'm a romantic uh, type and I like romantic music, mm. you know. <laughs> and also Romanian music is nice, but not this one now. Commercial Romanian, I yeah, don't like. Yeah, so what kind because of Because it's like super loud and they... Uh, I mean, what is with the music these days? Come on! What is with this music? It's like just three lyrics. Yeah. In a whole song from that last maybe three, mm -hmm. five minutes or I don't know. Uh, but there are some Romanian music, super, uh, super nice since uh, 90s. 90s mm -hmm. with Romanian music is yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Traditional same. music, also mu uh, music, uh, it's a uh, um, popular music. Mm -hmm. It's traditional Romanian music and mm -hmm. also I really appreciate uh, yeah. people that are, st are still continuing Mm -hmm. uh, this tradition because yeah. it's uh, our culture. It's, it's of course, uh, mm. yeah. Yes, yeah, there is um, um, production of traditional culture even these yeah. days. Uh, yeah. It's it survived. You have to go to a Romanian wedding. Mm -hmm. You have. Yeah, to, I was one time. Oh my yeah. god, <laughs> it was it endless. Was. You know. How it was. How Very good, was. but I was exhausted at it the was end. Like a <laughs> You dance dancing. for 10 hours and yes. you hit and you dance and you hit and you dance. You dance a lot. You yeah. dance a lot. It's like, and when and you if do you stay, uh, yeah. You, yeah. Say, everyone will say no, no, yeah. you have to stay. That's exactly what I was uh, on the point to say. <laughs> uh, at, at the moment, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm dying, so yeah. let me here, you know. <laughs> Nobody will see me. And let then, me sleep. Yeah, and some whole woman told yeah. me, come, you have to dance. It's a wedding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no one stays. At the table when it's a wedding, <laughs> yeah. even and it's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. You notice it's a, like three courses, three me menus. Like uh, they are. You have to a don't eat for two days before. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I never I wasn't able. Never I wasn't able to eat all that food and it's dance after. Oh no, it's not a 
good choice. What you say about um, the actual music, it, it's funny because we have the same re reflection reflection in France. We say that music is over. Um, we yeah. like to to listen old music. Yeah, so the I music mean, of this time are not music. Yeah, uh, they put the sound. It's just noise. Yeah, just noise. It's just noise. See, it's all like here. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. There well, are some catchy yeah. songs too. Mm -hmm. There are, but uh, in general. They are just catchy. I think uh, yeah. it's nothing impressive about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It's cool to <laughs> dance, but not to listen with. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a co it's a song like how much what kucha kucha cha kucha 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 kucha. You know when I like what is that? And I, but it got stuck in yeah, my head, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I was singing it the other days, and I like oh my god, it catched me. Well, it catched when me. you make a party, so it it's worked. okay. It, it, it worked. worked. <laughs> it worked for the musician production. It worked. It's they not music, get, it's a thing for destroying your brain. Rich. They will get rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, some people are impressed by your level of uh, English and they ask me, how do they learn English? Uh, how does she learn English so, so good? Yeah, my English is not so perfect. Maybe it's uh, grammatically, mm -hmm. you know, grammatically yeah. there are many mistakes. Yeah, but you don't find, you, you, you do, you're, not, but, you're uh, not searching your world like this now. You, you uh, sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but most of my word, my English is learned from movies, I mm -hmm. think, from games. Yeah. I was playing lots of games when I was... Uh, okay, I you mean video games? Video games. Oh. I was playing uh, San Andreas, I was oh. GTA, you know, I don't know if you know <laughs> this uh, game. I will never guess that you, that you would yeah, like I this Yeah, I was guy. a fan, I was a fan. <laughs> my cousin was like, let's play, but uh, I was knocking on his door. We didn't went to school for a week <laughs> when the game appeared and we were locked inside our house and played. We liked it a lot. And maybe from them, from the movies, of course, from the songs, from mm -hmm. the music. From yeah. the movies, music. and not at school, the, the uh, uh, yeah, at school too, but more uh, the grammatic part, and maybe it, uh, I don't know how to say, but I didn't learn so much from school. I have mm -hmm. to admit that I didn't learn so much from school, if mm -hmm. I remember good. Mm. Okay, because you you was not focused, or because the the no, school was not I good. Think yeah, the teacher weren't so uh, involved in teaching mm -hmm. us okay. English, you know. I had some good teachers, mm -hmm. English teachers, but not too many were involved. Mm -hmm. Many were just like, ah, let's do this, let's start the lesson, you know. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because I'm, I'm still stuck on the, the fact that you play on GTA. I imagine <laughs> you playing on GTA San Andreas. <laughs> so you kill people, <laughs> you are selling some drugs, yes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bad girl, yeah. I was a bad girl. <laughs> Yeah, with the codes, I had a list of codes. Yeah. With helicopters, uh, you know, it, it was mm -hmm. crazy, crazy period of time. Yeah, I think that m my <laughs> my guys will like you more now that we, they know that you are <laughs> you are elegant woman, but also you like to play video oh, game. Yeah. You like a perfect I'm uh, a bad girl. <laughs> mix. <laughs> I'm a mix. Yeah, that's true. It's the third video I think that we do together. What do you think about that? Are you happy to see you after the, the show that we make uh, on video? It was so weird to see me in that yeah. video. It was like I was paying so much attention to myself. Yeah. And I was uh, observing my uh, mm -hmm. face, everything. You were a little and, bit anxious. Uh, I was the... anxious, super anxious, mm -hmm. and I didn't uh, imagine that I. It, it was good, after mm -hmm. all, it was great, a great experience, a nice experience. Mm -hmm. I liked it very much and uh, when I was looking to myself, I was like, is that me? Because I, <laughs> I'm not used to see myself yeah, in, in a video. video. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. I take a lot of photos of myself, mm -hmm. but never videos. Yeah. Never. And when I uh, send a voice message, it's so strange to hear. It's like, oh my God, this yeah, is my I saw voice. That. But in the YouTube video we had, it was a nice, uh, I liked myself. Yeah. I was like, mm, if I were a man, I would like myself too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you were just I a like spectator. Or a woman, I, yeah. Yeah. yeah if I, exactly. I watched it as a spectator. Mm -hmm. I was um, ob objective. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe uh, on the, our future live show, you will be more relaxed. Yeah, be yeah, even even better. Even more relaxed. It was the first time for me, so yeah. uh, I think I made many 
mistakes, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, your audience was so nice. I read, I, I was reading the comments. And, yeah. Uh, they were so nice. And I, I erased some bad comments. Yeah, I have to say, yeah. like five <laughs> or ten. But <laughs> because yeah. they were stupid, not because they were critic, but they were stupid. Oh, they okay. Were stupid. Yeah, no. I don't mind about the bad comments either because I think um, no one is perfect, and you you can get more. Uh, you can get better. Yeah. From I mean, if it's a bad comment, you can improve what mm -hmm. he was saying. Maybe I didn't have a good posture. Maybe. I didn't uh, talk too much and mm -hmm. maybe I can work on this. I don't take it so personally. Mm -hmm. I don't take it so personally. Yeah. Okay. You okay. Know? It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's good sometimes to read uh, and to know what is wrong and what maybe yeah, to correct. Yeah, I, mean, I think you have haters too, right? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, it's normal, I think. It's normal. Everyone has them, even I have them. And I don't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. So. For now, for now. <laughs> the question that... Uh, I think that 20 people asked me that. 20 how, people? Yeah, how to please a Romanian woman, how to, <laughs> how to, <laughs> how to find love in Romania. Oh my what God. What is the particularity so of the Romania? So the French guys are coming to Romania to get married soon. Mm, they will go come! For, go, go follow me, yeah, they, they want, want a woman, yeah. <laughs> and they ask to, uh, what is the difference? Mm. What, I think I want what all women want. <laughs> Respect, love, yeah. loyalty, stability, mm -hmm. um, emotional stability, financial stability also, why mm -hmm. not? But um, personally, I don't search for a rich men or it's not important for me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, some, uh, one of my friend has, um, has a husband, of mm -hmm. course, and she earns more money than him. Mm -hmm. And he's a bit frustrated and yeah. he, they have many fights about this. Because it's and, cool for uh, her, but for him, it's yeah, a little bit... Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it is a pro maybe it's a problem if the man is uh, richer than a woman <laughs> and she had to be, uh, give me some money, please. Mm -hmm. I don't have money. And that is not okay mm -hmm. either, you know. I think you said a good thing when you say financial stability. It doesn't mean win a lot of money. It means having a job, exactly. uh, doing having, something, yeah, exactly, not doing something. anything. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Because... I think uh, many Romanian guys on the lower uh, mm -hmm. part of society, I mean, mm -hmm. they are like, oh, I don't work. You should go to work. You should do that. You should do that. You know, they are like to stay in bed all day, <laughs> but in exchange drink of beer what? <laughs> and to just say, mm, play you. Maybe they will play poker okay. because they are like, oh, poker ah. and uh, this they go to bed games, and, uh, casino yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are going with all their money to the casino games and they are just gambling and I they're losing the money or they are <laughs> winning, <laughs> winning sometimes, sometimes <laughs> but maybe once a year. <laughs> and yeah, it's like that. Mm. I think in every country it's like that. Every oh, yeah. In fact, uh, women and women are not so particular. They, they want. Yeah, uh, exactly. Like yeah, we are not aliens. <laughs> we are women. women. We are women. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Not, we want what every woman mm -hmm. wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you told me when we when we ate uh, we ate at the restaurant before the, uh, this video that uh, Romanian guys could be rude a little bit. So maybe if if a French guy are more tender with women, it could have a <laughs> good point. It's good point for yeah, for him. Yeah, I don't him. know why Romanian men are like super cold, mm -hmm. like mm, not giving so much affection. Maybe because uh, they've seen it uh, to their parents also. Yeah. It's something transmitted from generation to generation. Maybe they think it's not good as a man mm -hmm. to show uh, sensitivity, yeah. to show affection because you're weak. I understand. It means if, that you're weak. Even uh, when, when they love, they don't they show too much that, affection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think that you're, maybe I don't show her that because maybe she think mm. I... She will play with me after yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. She will take me as a fool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's, it's not true. It's mm -hmm. not true. Mm -hmm. They have to change this mentality because they will lose us. <laughs> <laughs> they will lose us. They have to... Uh, it's, uh, it's simple. To have a woman, you have to show her respect, love... And loyalty, preferably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> preferably. <laughs> <laughs> because I mentioned in the live video we had that uh, mm. Romanian men also like to have 
yeah. maybe one or two or three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about everyone. Let's yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, generalize. I don't talk, but yeah, I but know. I understand that it's not the kind of yeah. thing that you want to hear when you are alone. I know you know? some. I know some particular <laughs> cases that are like this, and I'm talking because I know <laughs> okay, okay. that this happens. I don't talk about <laughs> stories or what I heard. I know that uh, a particular case I know. Okay. <laughs> so. Thank you for your answer. Uh, thank Katina. you, thank you. It was a pleasure. Always a pleasure to, to be with you in a video. Merci à tous. J'espère que vous avez compris, que vous avez fait l'effort un peu d'écouter. Si vous n'êtes pas anglophone et que vous allez euh, vous améliorer sur ce point, c'est important même ne serait-ce que pour s'ouvrir au monde euh, nationaliste anglophone et bien de comprendre ce que les gens qui parlent anglais disent. Voilà, donc euh, je referai bientôt un live euh, pas très politique, un peu détendu, basé sur les relations de femmes comme ça avec Catalina. Euh, Peut-être avec Olesia, d'ailleurs pourquoi pas les deux en même temps, ça pourrait être sympathique, euh, femme ukrainienne, femme, femme roumaine. Voilà, et je vous dis à très bientôt pour de nouvelles aventures. N'hésitez pas à liker cette vidéo, bien sûr à la partager et à vous abonner à la chaîne si ça n'est pas déjà fait. Bye bye Au revoir Et oui, très violente transition, c'est le même, hein, c'est moi. Je n'ai pas changé, à l'exception du fait que j'ai perdu quelques cheveux au passage. Cette vidéo a 2-3 semaines, euh, entre temps je suis parti en France, je me suis coupé les cheveux là-bas et euh, j'ai enregistré plusieurs euh, émissions Vive l'Europe voilà donc j'ai mis, euh, mis en boîte pas mal d'émissions euh, j'ai été assez, euh, assez pris donc euh, c'est la raison pour laquelle j'avais laissé de côté cette, euh, cette chaîne YouTube me voici de retour aux manettes alors vous venez de voir cet entretien avec Catalina je diffuse maintenant parce que euh, là on est mardi, jeudi euh, c'est mon retour en live public et ce retour se fera avec Catalina la présence charmante de Catalina qui fêtera son anniversaire le jour euh, de, ce, de ce live, donc jeudi. Euh, soyez là, happy birthday euh, Catalina. Ça va être un moment sympa, détendu. On va parler de plein de sujets différents. Évidemment, d'actu, de foot. Je dis ça avec un sourire. Ah, j'ai envie de parler de foot. Je sais pas pourquoi, mais depuis hier, j'ai envie de parler de foot. Ça va mieux. J'ai envie de suivre ce championnat d'Europe tout à coup. Euh, des élections en partie et euh, des sujets que vous voulez euh, à l'abord de l'été qui commence ça va, être un, ça va être un direct sympathique euh, histoire de revenir euh, aux manettes voilà je crois que ça faisait plus d'un mois que j'étais pas euh, que j'étais pas apparu euh, en direct ça me fait plaisir de vous retrouver j'espère que mon nouvel aspect ne vous choque pas trop on se retrouve euh, jeudi avec Catalina à 21h, soyez bien présents je compte sur vous les amis, ciao ciao